from high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland. This is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is ICD-10 training is coming. What do you need to know? In January 2009, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced new regulations intended to facilitate the transition to electronic health records. How? Through the adoption of the next generation of diagnosis and procedure codes, as well as updated standards for electronic health care and pharmacy transactions. The new code set is called the International Classification of Diseases, 10th Revision, Clinical Modification, or ICD-10-CM. Most of us will simply call it ICD-10. The ICD-10 code set provides the foundation for federal health care reform and electronic health initiatives, including the Accountable Care Act, meaningful use, and the expansion of electronic health record functionality. The new ICD-10 coding methodology will increase the number of available diagnosis codes from 14,000 to 69,000, and the number of procedure codes from 4,000 to 79,000. With such a big jump in the number of codes, training is essential for all users. So, who will receive training? Well, nearly everyone who works in the Bonscore Health System will receive ICD-10 training. The amount of training and the priority of training will depend on the type of job you do. Training will begin in February through HealthStream and each employee will receive an email when they are due for training. Those without email will get their information from their supervisor. All training must be completed no later than September 30th, 2014. Anyone who has any questions should contact their local ICD-10 project manager. If you don't know who your local ICD-10 project manager is, please contact Katherine Bresnan via email. She can get that information to you. ICD-10 training starting February 2014. Watch for details. In other news, well, the awards just keep rolling in. Starting with Bon Secours St. Francis Health System, 47 Health Grades Quality Awards. 47, including the Outstanding Patient Experience Award for the sixth year in a row. We'll talk more about those awards next week. St. Joseph Place, our long-term care facility at Bon Secours Community Hospital, has been awarded a five-star rating in overall quality by Nursing Home Compare. Shervere Pavilion has been awarded full accreditation for quality assurance and performance for nursing homes and centers by Providine. Fewer than 1,000 facilities across the U.S. and Canada receive this recognition. Bon Secours Richmond has won a gold 2013 Cancer Awareness Advertising Award with its Support Your Girls Breast Cancer Awareness Program. Good Samaritan Regional Medical Center received two 2014 awards from HealthGrades. The 2014 Distinguished Hospital Award for Clinical Excellence and the 2014 Cardiac Care Excellence Award. And Maryview Medical Center has been designated as a center of excellence in minimally invasive gynecology by the American Association of Gynecologic Laparoscopists and Surgical Review Corporation. Additionally, three Bon Secours affiliated surgeons were also recognized for advancing minimally invasive gynecology with designations. Let's give a big shout out to everyone connected to these awards, proof that an extraordinary experience of care is what you'll get from Bon Secours. Finally, mid-year reviews are coming. Have you been thinking about yours? Mid-year reviews are not just about performance and goals. Well, they are about performance and goals, but they are also about development and growth. 
You may recall that one of our strategic goals of our strategic quality plan is liberating our people's potential. Additionally, growth is one of the values of Bon Secours. So this idea of development and growth is built into our collective DNA or our ministry. And as you know, Bon Secours success is directly tied to our employees' success. Consequently, sitting down with your supervisor to check in on where you are and to make any adjustments mid-year helps you achieve your goals that directly impacts your growth and the success of Bon Secours. Now, we use success factors to manage our annual performance planning and review cycle, but success factors is more than just an annual performance planning and review cycle program. It also provides a venue to store information about you, a sort of online resume, if you will. Additionally, it helps you track your career growth. There it is again, that value, growth. So when you get a chance, go into success factors and review where you are in your personal development and growth and get ready for your mid-year review. Then before April 18th, well, well before April 18th, get some time with your supervisor and check in on your progress. Mid-year reviews coming to an office near you. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up to the minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content. Thank you.